Tonight is a continuation of our George P. Schultz Lecture Series held here at the Marines Memorial Club in downtown San Francisco. Mr. Schultz will introduce our speaker for tonight. It's my job to introduce Secretary Schultz. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming former Secretary of State George P. Schultz. Thank you. So it's a great pleasure for me and a privilege for me to introduce this wonderful man leading our forces in the Central Command, General James Mattis. Thank you. Thank you very much, Secretary Schultz. When I meet with foreign leaders in the Mideast today, I cite four diplomatic pillars for our approach to a region that's in transition. First, we support each country's political reform efforts. Second, we support economic reforms that broaden the fruits of, economic, of the economic boon many of the countries are having. Third, we support a renewed pursuit of Middle East peace. Fourth, we support regional security. By that I mean we stand by our friends, old friends, new friends, we stand by them. We stand by their territorial integrity and we stand against terrorism. Al-Qaeda in Iraq still exists, but it's been pummeled. Uh, it's still capable of spectacular attacks. During the holy month of Ramadan, on the 15th day here last week, <clears throat> we saw Al-Qaeda concentrate again their killing on the Shia parts of Iraq, and uh, they killed or wounded over 300 people in one day. They're still dangerous. Uh, they still go after the innocent. They go after women, children. They have no uh, regard for any of the rules of warfare. Our mission there is to disrupt dismantle and defeat Al-Qaeda, and that remains our goal, and to prevent Al-Qaeda from returning. Remember that part. Some people forget that last part of the mission statement. Prevent them from returning to Pakistan or Afghanistan. In the military, our job is to defeat the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, the Taliban being the ones who took in Al-Qaeda and embraced them, and defeat their hope for victory can you give us your thoughts on uh, the relationship of the military, both in, in Afghanistan and in Iraq, uh, with the press? I'm very comfortable because 95% of them are, are great guys and gals who are out to tell the story and are committed to it, and they really want to do a good job. Uh, they're not all good. There's always a few jerks anywhere. Uh, and, but even Jesus of Nazareth had one out of 12 go to mud on him, you know what I mean? <laughs> 